As you can see from the title in this video, I'm going to be comparing the two largest portable power stations that you can buy, the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 and the Anchor Solix F3800. As always, if you're in a hurry and just looking for that discount or deal, you can use the links in the comments or description, get a good deal on this, plus help support my channel at the same time, which I always appreciate. There are some pretty big discounts on both the Delta Pro 3 and the Anchor Solix F3800. Get them while they last. Welcome to Adventure Tech, where I do the research so you don't have to. With over 15 years of experience in industrial environmental inspection work and owner of a few companies, I've learned a few things, and I'm happy to share what I learned and try to help you guys out. EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 and the Anchor Solix F3800 are the largest portable power stations all in one that you can get currently. The Delta Pro 3 just came out and the Solix F3800 came out last winter. These can power the largest and most amount of devices compared to any other power stations, but there are some differences. Visually, they both have futuristic, but really clean design to them. It doesn't look retro or anything too crazy. I think either could work well in home design and be easy to sell to your customers if you're a contractor building homes. The Solix has a little smaller footprint, but it weighs 133 pounds compared to the Delta Pro 3 that weighs only 114 pounds. The Delta Pro takes up a little more space in the footprint, but offers a nice flat top and sturdy stackability. Surprisingly, the lighter Delta Pro 3 has more storage than the Anchor Solix F3800 with 4,096 watt hours, while the Anchor Solix F3800 only has about 3,840 watt hours. So the Delta Pro 3 would last longer. The Anchor Solix states that it runs at 6,000 watts, while EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 states that it runs at 4,000 watts, continuous with 8,000 watt surge. Plus, they mention it has this 6,000 watt power boost mode, which they just say can make things run at a higher wattage than the power station rate capacity of 4,000 watts up to 6,000 watts. So this is harder to understand which power station is more powerful. Technically, it seems Delta Pro 3 is more powerful, but Anchor is somewhat limited on the information they release in terms of specs on the F3800. Doesn't seem that they have any boost or surge capacity, or at least they don't state it. So we'll have to say the Delta Pro 3 is more powerful, but just by a little bit. They are really close though. They both run 240 volts split phase with plugins built right in. They both can back up your entire home with advanced apps that can track energy use, give you uninterrupted power supply, and help you save money on your power bill. With solar charging, the EcoFlow can handle about 200 more watts of solar charging. It has a little bit different setup than the Anchor Solix F3800. They both have two inputs for solar, but the main difference is both ports on the Solix have the same exact type of charger, while the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3 has a high voltage port and a low voltage port. I guess with this, it would be the preference on what type of panels you have. Note that Anchor Solix cannot handle higher voltage panels, maxing out at about 60 volts on their solar charger. So newer higher voltage panels or series won't be able to work on the Solix F3800 while you can use voltage up to 150 volts on the EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. Now I'm going to talk about some other things you're going to want to know. When I check the specs on the Solix F3800, it seems that the AC outlets can only handle 2400 watts. So the limit of 6000 watts seems to be the combination of all the outlets. And so depending on what type of voltage you're running, the outlet might only push up to 2400 watts. But you can get 6000 watts from the 240 volt output, no problem. I'm not sure if EcoFlow power stations like this. I have many of their power stations and I can use a single plug to max out to their power station wattage limit, no problem. After studying all these different companies and all these different power stations in this situation, what would I choose? Since the price isn't too far off right now with all the discounts, everything going on, I think I would choose the EcoFlow because the product is a little bit better, but also finding information about it was very easy. Some of the Anchor Solix F38 stats seem to be a bit more hard to find. I had to go through multiple pages to find what I was looking for. While the EcoFlow specs are easy to get to fast, there's a lot of transparency and straightforwardness with EcoFlow and I like that. So I would choose them, but both are really close to be honest. It would be amazing to have either one of these in your home, RV, or at the camp. So in summary, if you want something that's a bit more powerful, will last a little bit longer, and weigh a little bit less, I would go with EcoFlow Delta Pro 3. And it is brand new, so it's the most advanced you can get. Right now, the sale puts it pretty close to the Anchor Solix F3800. If you get one of the early bird tickets, uh, you can use the link in the description or comments to get a deal on either of these power stations, actually, and help support my channel at the same time. I hope the video helped you out. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You can subscribe for free by clicking the subscribe button. And most important, click the bell icon so that when I make new videos, you can get the info before you end up spending your money on something you might regret.